Hi and welcome to this deployment sessions video on Windows 8 apps. I'm Simon May and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a Windows 8 line of business application or an Apex package with System Center Configuration Manager 2012 SP1, a process known as side loading. First we're going to create and deploy the package with Config Manager 2012 SP1. Here we are in the management console and I'm just going to go and create a new application within the software library. I'm going to select a Windows App X package and I'm going to browse to the location of the Apex files that we have. Notice that in this case we have an application which has some dependencies. Those dependencies have also gone through this process of creating an application in advance purely for those dependencies. Here we're providing some extra information about the package, configuring it to use potentially some more friendly names for our business than the names that might be included within the package itself. That's the process of actually configuring the package. Now we need to go and just set up those dependencies. So we'll go into the properties of our package. And from there, we'll go and find the deployment types that we have available for this application. Inside of Configuration Manager, an application can have many different deployment types so that we can target different types of devices for those application installations. Here we'll go along to the Dependencies tab because we want to specify that WinJS application that we've already configured as a dependency for the application that we are now deploying. What that will mean is that before this application gets deployed, our WinJS application will have to be deployed first, and when we do the deployment through Config Manager, it will just take care of that whole process for us. So we'll select that package and click OK, and OK again. And finally, OK the properties for our package. And the next thing that we need to do is actually deploy the package out to our user base. So we already, within Config Manager 2012 here, have a uh, what we call a collection, which is a group of users so that we can target those users um, within our deployments. In the case of a Windows 8 app, we actually have to target those out to our end users and not to devices within our environment. We'll go and hit Deploy. And we'll actually go and select that particular group. And then we'll just go through setting up that content. So we'll select the, um, uh, the distribution points that we want to have. We'll have all of the dependencies automatically distribute as well. In this case, I only have one dis distribution point inside of my uh, setup, so I'll just use that. And I'm going to select this application to be required, which means that we will automatically install this application for the user, which is something that we can do with a side-loaded application, make sure it actually lands on the end user's device. We can then actually say whether we want to uh, schedule that deployment to make it out of hours, how we want that deployment to appear within Software Center, which is one of the Configuration Manager components, and also whether we want to pull back any reporting and alerting into our Operations Manager infrastructure. Okay, so that's our deployment now complete. We'll switch over to see what this looks like from the end user's point of view. Here you can see the start screen for one of our end users, Alice in this case, and you can see that the IT department requires some changes to the software on her computer. That then begins to download in the background, and these are just notification toasts that maybe Alice doesn't have to focus on too much. If we then have a quick look at her start screen again, we can see the application start to appear as a live tile on the start screen, and if Alice just goes and clicks on that particular application, we'll be able to launch the app as well. Notice that we also get another Toast notification to tell us that the installation has completed successfully, and if there was a problem, we would actually get a notification to tell us that it had failed. Here's the application up and running for our end user. So let's go and have a look at deploying the same thing, but making it available from within Config Manager, not as a required installation. This actually gives us almost an internal Windows Store for our organization, where users can go and select different uh, applications to install. In fact, they can do that on lots of different devices. It doesn't just have to be a Windows device. We'll run through the deployment wizard again. We don't have to set the application up, just deploy it slightly differently. And in this case, we'll say it's available. We can say what times we want to make it available, what the user experience should look like again within Software Center. Do we want to pull any information back within Ops Manager? And we can run through that deployment process. Again, very, very simple. We'll switch back over to the user experience now. We've undone all the changes that we saw earlier on in this video. And we're back at that kind of vanilla um, start screen environment. I'm just going to go and launch Software Center so that I can get to the application's catalog. 
and click on this little link within um, Software Center to go to our applications catalog. Obviously, as an enterprise admin, I could place that onto, uh, say, my corporate SharePoint site or my corporate internet to make it easier and more accessible for my end users. Here we'll see the built-in applications catalog within Config Manager 2012 SP1. And the first application that we'll see there is the application that we've just delivered, the new Windows 8 app. I'm going to click uh, Install on that application. That's then going to cause the app to download in the background. And we'll get a couple of messages just letting us know that the app installation is progressing as expected. And a few seconds later, the catalog comes back to tell us that things were successful. And we get some uh, pop-up notification toasts to actually tell us that the installation is downloading and progressing. And if I want to, I could click that link to go straight into Software Center and see the progress of the application as it's being delivered. We'll switch back to the desktop, and we can already see that the uh, tile for the application is there. I can go and click the application, launch it, and I get exactly the same experience that I would expect if I had done that as a required install, or actually if I'd have taken that out out of, say, a Windows store. Go ahead and try this for yourself. The evaluations are free for Windows Server 2012 and for System Center 2012. Thanks very much for watching this video. 